arm asshole. Oh my gosh. The title of this video is crazy. Woke black TikToker calls for looting during Buffalo snowstorm because white people stole land. Just because, just, just that title alone is ridiculous. So I already know this is gonna be a crazy video and shout out to my boy, Black Insurgent Perspective, AKA Greg, all right? Cause he be coming in with the content, man. He be, <laughs> drop, drop, drop. I mean, bro, this man is, <laughs> bro, he's unstoppable. Okay, he, he beats me to everything, okay? I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyways, man, enough talking. We go check out his point of view with the title of the video. I don't know what this is about, but we go check out his point of view. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. All right, guys. So, unfortunately, as some of you guys may know or are currently experiencing, we're going through a historic winter storm in the United States uh, where we have freezing temperatures all over the country. Uh, and in some parts of the country, uh, we have blizzards, okay? Quite literally, some parts of the country are snowed in, okay? Like, for example, Buffalo, who is getting hit quite hard uh, by this natural disaster, is, is suffering a lot. And unfortunately, during times of natural disaster, just like hurricanes down in Florida, uh, you have people who take advantage of these natural disasters to commit crimes, to loot, to steal, to destroy property that is not theirs, and you always have these conversations from mainstream liberal media trying to excuse the actions of criminals. Like, for example, this article here from the Washington Post uh, talks about how this blizzard is fueling racial and class divides in this city. You also have another article out here that uh, basically is accusing what is happening in Buffalo of being racist. And what are they claiming as racist, guys? Well, they're claiming that police diverting resources to... Um, trying to stop looters uh is somehow racist Th this is what they're claiming right this is what they're claiming um incredible stuff um it, it's just so funny to me how these people uh they, they love criminals so much right they love criminals but anyways in this video we gotta talk about this woke tiktok right this woman who happens to be black she looks black allegedly she's black uh she's saying that um it is okay to loot uh, because white people stole land, right? So white people shouldn't be complaining about people looting because white people stole land, right? And I want to- That's the dumbest logic I've ever heard in my life. I, I, oh my gosh, bro, what? What goes through people's minds? I'm just like, honestly, so confused. I like, it's, it's not just black people, bro. I done reacted to videos of white people having the same Dumb logic is I just be I honestly be thinking to myself what school did y'all attend so that way I won't let, allow my kids to attend that same school because this is ridiculous you people logic are just honestly ridiculous I don't even understand why people think the way they think I I, I truly don't understand how can you think the way like how can you even think that way that, oh Lord I swear I lose brain cells every time I watch any type of video dealing with people of color who think the who think the way like this thinking it's okay oh well yeah i mean you know the white people shouldn't have no problem with black people looting because they stole land like what <laughs> what this has to be oh my gosh react to that but first i want to play a couple of news clips uh for you guys uh so you guys can get a better understanding of what's going on out in, in buffalo uh, and then I'm going to play the uh, TikTok reaction to it just so you guys can see how silly it, that it is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll the clip. Low, reprehensible and disgusting. Those are the words Buffalo law enforcement and city leaders have used to describe the criminals who have looted local businesses during this deadly blizzard. We're joined now live by Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia. Commissioner, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Let's talk a little bit about logistics first and also some of the stats that you guys have gathered. Uh, I know yesterday morning uh, you had released a detail, a special detail of officers who were charged with going out and specifically addressing issues of looting. About how many stores or businesses do you think have been hit at this point and how many arrests have been made? So I don't have the final calculations yet. There have been a lot, uh, but with the driving ban, Store owners, managers have been able to get to their locations. We've uh, come across stores that have had damage. We just don't know if that's a result of looting or any other issues. So it's going to take some time to get those fines. So, so you seriously telling me that people are snowed in, they can't go to work, they can't make their money, and you telling me dumb people 
literally people with no type of lot no type of logic no type of common sense i'm sorry that's the right word to use no type of common sense they go out there they 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 break into people's business they steal money they steal whatever they steal and they steal in just a whole bunch of crazy stuff okay you know what i'm saying they they in it's not just the fact of stealing but this is people living you know what i'm saying like when people start a business this is how they make their money you know what I'm saying? They're not just starting a business. And some people start a business and work a nine to five and do it. But when people actually build a business from the ground up and it's actually, you know, growing and they're making money within their business, that is the way they feed their family. And for people to go out there and take advantage because they see that, oh, everybody's snowed in. Nobody should be outside. So we're going to go rob and kill, uh, not rob and kill, but go rob and steal from these places because there's nobody there. So why not? That I mean, that's like the dumbest thing ever. You know what I'm saying? You just playing with people money. And the moment you start playing with people money, I don't feel sorry for nothing that comes your way. I, I truly don't. Because again, we all we all out here trying to make it, trying to make it some way, somehow. You feel me? Life is hard. Inflation, ah, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, we all trying to make it. You feel me? Because these regular little 19, 20, 30, whatever dollars y'all get in an hour from y'all regular job, that ain't cutting it. You feel me? That that just won't cut it. So people trying to start businesses, trying to grow something, and then it's like. You got people that just don't care, that don't have no home training, no common sense. They go out there and they just steal and they just store other people's businesses. I, pff, the world that we live in is ridiculous. Final calculations, but uh, we have made nine arrests uh, since the start of our detail. The detail uh, started up yesterday and all those arrests came yesterday. Um, we are uh, also working at our district detective level uh, to investigate the leads that we have on other ones. Uh, you showed a video there uh, of a, a person smashing a cash register uh, from Louis that uh, we've already gotten tips on the identification of somebody. We are working to uh, finalize that. We will make arrests. I'm going to give the suggestion to anybody that's involved in this. You might as well turn yourselves in because we are going to come and knock at your door. Tonight, we are hearing some more unfortunate stories of looting all across Buffalo. The owner of Louis Texas Red Hot on Bailey Avenue tells two on your side. His heart is broken watching security footage of his restaurant being looted on Christmas Day. You a freaking dummy, you. Oh, Lord, bro. I, I, dog. Did, did, did y'all not see the fat camera that's right there in the corner? You, you cover your freaking... I mean, bro, if you're going to steal, at least do it the right way. Fam, you got your whole mask down, bro. They got a whole good identification of your face. The, bro, do you not know that police have so much technology, bro? They already know who you are. You're you're locked up, fam. And pull up your pants. Go get you some bigger drawers or some bigger pants or something. Man. I'm tired of looking at your butt crack. God dang. You could at least wash the dishes or something, bro. You could at least did something instead of stealing somebody's money, bro. I, Lord have mercy, bro. I, this, and of course, yeah, of course, the person is the person is black. Of course, he is. Of course. As of this evening, Carl Anderson Jr. says his restaurant is finally boarded up. Meanwhile, Buffalo police tell us they are following some leads in this case. This isn't people stealing food and medicine and diapers. They are destroying stores. They're stealing televisions, couches, wow. uh, whatever else they can get their hands on. They're opportunists. They're taking advantage. And all you're doing is destroying the resource you have when you need to go to the store again and buy food or whatever else that you need. The Buffalo Police Department has formed an anti-looting detail to hold criminals accountable. So far, eight people have been arrested. So I live in Buffalo. This is a 33. This is my car that's been buried in all of this fucking snow since last week. And this is outside my granny's house, a tree that's been there since my aunt was a child. Safe to say that it's a fucking shit show out there, right? And here go y'all goblins who don't even live in the fucking city. Which, by the way, the Q-tip people are the last ones to ever talk about somebody stealing anything. Y'all wouldn't be in this country had it not been for y'all stealing it. Did she just call y'all Q-tip people? All right, that dude, she's called y'all a Q-tip. I ain't never heard that. I ain't never heard that one in my way. That that right there, that's a different type of like name calling. I I ain't never heard somebody call a white person a Q-tip. All right. So well, y'all are more focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity thing. Then the people who are literally freezing to death in their own home. Free I'm done. TV is a necessity? How, bro, how stupid are you? That, 
No, it's not. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm done pausing. Let let's hear let's hear her dumb logic. Let's hear every dumb thing that she has to say. Every dumb thing. Stealing it. So y'all are more focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity thing. Okay. Then the people who are literally freezing to death in their own home, freezing to death outside because this city did not shut down the way it should have. Byron Brown want to get on here and talk about we told y'all we knew this was gonna happen. But why didn't you close businesses when you should have? Why you got everybody rushing home at noon when the fucking, you know, storm is starting and now people are literally dying in their cars because they can't see. And yeah, it was that fucking bad. I went out like at eight o'clock in the morning before it started. And by the time I got out of Wegmans, right, it was like maybe 9, 30, 10 o'clock and it was fucking bad. And that was just the beginning of the storm. So if you don't live in Buffalo, even if you do live in Buffalo, you feel like you're better than because people are out here stealing and ugh, you would never. First of all, if you are a mayo monster, that is how your ancestors got everything from stealing. People she just called y'all a mayo monster, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, bro, you can't do nothing but just laugh at the, just laugh at her. That, that's it, that's all you can do. She said, y'all, Q-tip and a mayo monster. I ain't never heard that type of, Bro, I ain't never heard that in my life. I, I seriously, I mean, but seriously, let, let let a white person call us a monkey, a gorilla. I don't know, a black pan or something. Let let them call us something. Let us call let them call us an African booty scratcher or something like that. Oh man, we oh you're racist. You're this. You're that. <laughs> she just called she just called white people a cuta and a mayo monster. People are out here trying to get toilet paper. People are out here trying to get, you know, just small little food from family fucking dollar and y'all gotta fucking it. Fuck capitalism, steal everything that you need, babe. Because at the end of the day, this city continuously fails us whenever we have any type of emergency. Byron, do better, bitch. Yeah, so you guys seen that you heard that, okay? This is, I mean, unfortunately, it's par for the course when it comes to the rhetoric from the uh, woke left, okay? Because they love criminals, right? Woke. Liberals, uh, progressives, they, they love criminals. They would make every excuse in the book to defend criminal activity, right? But they don't really care about the law-abiding citizens, the business owners that are suffering because criminals are looting their stores. And they're not looting their stores for essential goods, right? That's not what's happening, okay? This lady clearly is ignorant on what's going on here uh, because she's actually educated on the issue. She would understand it. These criminals are going in there and they're stealing cash, uh, they're not stealing food, right? That they're stealing all types of luxury goods. A TV is not a necessity, bro. Uh, <laughs> right? It's really you. not. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Thank. It, it's not. It, I don't even know what, what. I don't even know what made her think that a TV is a necessity. Who? Like, come on, bro. These people ain't like you said. These people is not stealing. No, no, nothing that they truly, uh, you know, need. You know, they're not stealing food. They're not stealing none of things that they might need during the snowstorm. They're stealing money. Something they can't even use at the moment. Why? Because y'all snowed in. So everything is closed. So they're stealing money from people, businesses. And it's like, and you, and you just okay with that. Now imagine if you had a business and you got people robbing you. Robbing, how would you feel? Would you go still tell them, oh, you steal everything y'all want? Because the Mayo monsters, they took the land anyways. Their ancestors, they they stole the land anyways. The Q-tips. Um, <laughs> come on, fam. And, and, and the thing is, is that uh, it's one thing to criticize the city's mismanagement of preparing for the storm. It's another to say, well, the city's mismanagement is what led to looting. Uh, that, that That's not the case, right? I don't think that's... The issue. I don't think that's the issue. The, the issue is that you have criminals taking advantage of this snowstorm to try to hurt law-abiding citizens. That's what's happening. And it's just funny to me how every single time this happens, the woke revolutionaries want to come out here and cry racism in defense of criminals. You guys remember when Ron DeSantis came out here and said, uh, when they start looting, we start shooting? Amen. Uh, yes, Joy yes, Reid cried racism. Oh, that's racist. That's racist. You, you're saying you want to shoot black people. Again, it's, it's hilarious how Joy Reid is accusing Ron DeSantis of being a racist when nobody said anything about shooting black people. Joy Reid is the one that assumed that when we're talking about looting, right, or people who are looting, we're talking about blacks. <laughs> and that and that goes over black people's head. That, that, that goes over all their heads. They think that they think that the Republicans, they think that we're racist. The concern, they think that we're racist. I'm just saying, because the first thing when somebody say looting, 
and things like that, or when they start looting, we start shooting. When they, when somebody say that, your mind should automatically go to black people, right? Uh, because I mean, did he say when black people start looting, we go start shooting? He didn't say that, fam. He he didn't say that at all. So for your mind to go straight to, oh my gosh, he's he's trying to kill black people. It's like why did you put black and loot together to make one? I, I'm just saying, uh, but that goes over. That goes over all the people here. They, they, we, we the racist, right? I'm just saying. It don't make sense to me, my brother. Because that ain't the first time this stuff happens. When they blame black people, they put black people in the category of something that we didn't even say blacks in it. All, all he said was, when they start looting, we start shooting. That means anybody. That doesn't mean just black people. <laughs> let a white person start <laughs> Let a white person start looting. <laughs> we going to start shooting. I'm, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But obviously that goes over everybody here. They don't they don't see that. They don't open their eyes to that. They're not awake. They're just woke. That's it. Just saying. Right. That is what she assumed. I don't just assume unless, you know, there's video evidence out here, which in this case is is video evidence, that the looters are black. I don't just assume that. I don't assume when people talk about locking up criminals that they're just talking about locking up black people. Thank you. But hey, it seems that quite often that turns out to be the case. Which is a problem that nobody ever wants to address. Why does nobody ever want to address every single time this stuff happens when we're talking about these, this type of organized crime, particularly when it comes to theft? Um, you know, uh, the, the suspects tend to be black. They tend to be black. Nobody ever wants to talk about that issue. They always want to make excuses for these people, but they never want to talk about why in the world do these people always happen to be black, right? As a black person, I'm embarrassed, right? I really am. I am sick and tired. Uh, every single time I do these stories, uh, it's always a black person, right? It's always a black person, okay? And I don't even want to assume that it is. But it just so happens that's the case. Like, it's so sad that when I seen the guy uh, breaking the cash register, I just like, of course he's black. Like, just, of course. Off the rip, I wasn't just assuming. Once they said looting, I wasn't just assuming you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't go just straight to, oh, it's black, but uh, obviously the title, that's what brought me into my mind. But if that title didn't say what it said, and it just said, woke uh, woke left, loot, or whatever, I wouldn't have just assumed straight off the rip, oh, these must gotta be black people. I just wouldn't assume that. But it's sad that every time a story, even the stories that I cover, you know what I mean? It's a lot of stories that I cover that's a, that just black people. But I also cover stories of white people too that do dumb things that don't have the, the don't have logic or don't have common sense. I don't know why I keep using the word logic, but that don't have common sense. It's sad that it's sad that the stories that we do uh, cover there have to be a black person doing something just so dumb and stupid that just don't have common sense on the things they doing. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. I didn't see one white person in these little clips of the looting. I, I didn't see that. I just seen two black two black dudes that just they don't care they don't care because it's not theirs you know they just don't care <laughs> it, it's ridiculous and it's embarrassing and what's even more embarrassing is people defending it yeah. people crying racism simply for enforcing our laws enforcing our laws against black people is not racist but again this is how we got to the point where we've gotten in this country where we have historic crime where we have historic theft it's because they say, well, locking up black people is racist. You can't lock up black people because it's racist. So what do y'all think? Y'all think black people just, just they, they just naturally prone to doing this stuff. Just let them do it, right? And if you're opposed to it, then, you, then you're racist. It's amazing, man. The, the, the bigotry of low expectations when it comes to black people is just, it's stunning. And it is the worst issues with uh, black people in crime. It's the it's the expectation that hey well this is just what they do, right? It's it's, it's just excusing, you know, anything that that black people do, as oh well it's just because of you know racism or whatever, right? And in this case right here, I mean th this lady is going as far as to excuse it by saying well white people stole this land, so therefore it's okay for you know black people to loot and to steal. They, and it's don't, like, what if, they don't have anything to do with each other. That has nothing to do with it. But okay, if you believe that the land is stolen, then leave. You're living on stolen land, benefiting from stolen land, according to you. Then get Bruh. the f out the country. Then, go. Bro, I feel your pain, fam. I literally feel your pain, Greg. Th this is exactly how I react to my videos, and pe and it it's frustrating because 
it's not it's not just frustrating on the situation, but it's frustrating because this is my people. These are these are black people. You know what I'm saying? And I, I look, I love all people, but it hurts because I am black. You know what I'm saying? So when I see my people, the people that's that's my color doing these crazy things, it it just make me feel like like why. You know what I'm saying? We always claim change. We always want change. We want people to stop looking at us like this and stop looking at us like that. But then we got black people out here doing dumb stuff like that, which make other people just assume that this is what black people do. You know what I'm saying? It's like he said, it's not racist to enforce the laws on black people. Black people is not like black people is not um, put to the side from the rules that should be enforced. If it's a rules enforced on white people, Hispanics, agents, if it's rules, on, if it's rules enforced on every other race. There should be rules enforced on black people too. You know what I'm saying? If black people do something wrong, they should be going to jail too. Whether you think it's racist or not. It's not racist. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is held, everybody is held to the same standard in America. I promise you. You know what I'm saying? If a white person go out there and do some, do the same thing that these black people was doing, trust and believe me, it's gonna be some white people in jail too. They're not, they're not, they're, the standard's not lower for them because they're white. But y'all think that. Because that's what the media put out there. That's what that's what they're telling y'all. But that's not true at all. It's not true. You know what I'm saying? They want y'all to think that, oh, we we are lower, we are lower than the white people. You know, they want y'all to think that. But in reality, we all held to the same standard, bro. We all held to the same standard. If you driving in a car and you got weed on you, like you got over, I don't know, I, I don't know about weed because I don't smoke. So I don't know what a gram is. But if you smoke, let me know if this is the right logic, okay? Because <laughs> I, I don't know what a gram is. But um, if you got over a gram, I'm just going to say over a gram. I don't know. But if you got over a gram on the car and you're white, black, whatever, you know what I'm saying? If you got over the, the, legal, amount, the legal amount that you should have in the car, guess what? You're going to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? They're going to search the car. That's not because you're black. No, that's just going to happen to any, any, any race. They're not just going to let a white person off and say, you know what? Nope, you're white. <laughs> you got over the amount. It's all good, man. You get a warning. Like, no, bro, that's not how it works. That's just not how it works, bro. I don't want to be baby feed because I'm black. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't want to I don't want to be felt like a baby because I'm black. Like, don't feel sorry for me and oh, you guys went through so much. I didn't go through nothing. My ancestors went through a lot. I didn't go through anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm only 19. What did I go through? What did I go through? I haven't even experienced the full life yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I pay bills and that's about it. But I haven't even experienced a full life. So what did I truly go through? I haven't experienced like getting beat on by a white person and things like that. Like I didn't experience, I didn't get experience, I didn't experience all that. My ancestors did. So why should I hold what my ancestors been through towards the white people today? Because they don't have no control over what their ancestors did. Same thing with me. I don't have no control over what my ancestors been through. So I can't put that on the white people today because they don't even know their ancestors. Just like I don't know my ancestors. I'm just, oh Lord. Go to Africa, right? Go somewhere else if that's how you feel, but they never will. They're going to stay here in this country. They're going to moan and complain about how bad this country is while again benefiting from it. Yep. Uh, and then also go out here and vote for policies and, and laws that reward criminals, right? Amen. Actively destroying the country. It, it really pisses me off. It really does, right? People like this woman right here, again, you know... <laughs> This is what's wrong with our society. This is what's wrong with our society. People making excuses for criminals. Also, not to mention the racism here, right? The overt racism, calling white people male monsters and all this other stuff, all these slurs they use against And Q-tip. <laughs> I ain't never heard that before. Whites. Totally fine, right? But if a white person came out here and would start saying all types of stuff like that, uh, people would be losing their minds. Again, just shows you the double standard that we have uh, when it comes to these types of issues. So, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, man. Hey. I truly love Greg, bro. I love Black Conservative Perspective, man, because, bro, we have the same perspective. Literally, we have the same perspective on a lot of certain things. And, bro, what he said, like, y'all living on stolen land, so why are you still here? You know what I'm saying? Why are you still here? Go to another country. But, no, they're going to still soak up all the benefits that America has to, add, uh, has to offer. You know what I'm saying? These these black people that feel like, oh, white people stole the land. And, this and, that, and they did this. And they, they all they did was steal stuff from white. And why are we still here? Why are y'all still here? Because there's no other better country than this country. I'm going to be real with you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people that come from other countries, the one country they will they will come to, you know what I'm saying, is America. They will be like, I, I got to go to America. Because they see all the benefits that America has to offer. And our country is better than going to this country or that country or this country. Because the people that come from other countries, like I said, they come over here. They come over here. They want to be here. They want to start businesses. They want to they be successful over here. 
because their country going through way work way more than what our country are already going through i mean just do your research on it bro i watched the last video i posted Africa, uh, Africans versus African Americans, and you go see the you go see the different the different uh, size. The Africans they went through hell, while African Americans is complaining about the little things. When in Africa, <sighs> watch that video, man. Go ahead. Uh, anyways, let me know what y'all think about the video in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Happy New Year's. If I don't see you tomorrow, Saturday, whatever, happy New Year's. You feel me? I love y'all. We're going into the New Year strong. Road to 100K. Actually, react to 100K. So I love y'all, man. I'm react. I'm react every single day until 100K. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.